NASA opened a new era today in space exploration. Three and a half years after the shuttle was retired, Orion took flight. Chip Reed is at the Kennedy Space Center. On top of a Delta IV rocket, the largest in the U.S. inventory, Orion thundered into space today for a crucial four and a half hour test flight. Orion circled the globe twice, reaching an altitude of 3,600 miles, 14 times higher than the International Space Station. In the most nerve-wracking moment, Orion re-entered Earth's atmosphere at a blazing 20,000 miles an hour, generating temperatures of 4,000 degrees. The advanced heat shield designed to keep astronauts safe appeared to have performed flawlessly. Main chute deploy. The enormous parachutes that slowed Orion for a gentle splash down in the Pacific also passed with flying colors. It was also really, really cool. Mark Geyer is the top NASA official in charge of the Orion program. What's the big picture significance of this mission? It's, it's the beginning of showing that you know, the United States is getting back to exploring the solar system. Uh, and Orion has the systems that we're going to need to do that. And today we put him to the test. Orion may look like the old Apollo capsule that took men to the moon, but Orion is larger and vastly more sophisticated. And it had better be, because NASA's plan is to use Orion to take astronauts all the way to Mars. Passing 25 seconds. Succeeding in that mission, though, will depend on whether future Congresses, future presidents, and future American publics are willing to spend untold billions to get there. But try telling that to Mark Geyer. So you're going to Mars? Absolutely. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. And it started today. Even if he's right, it will take a very long time. NASA's plan is for the first Orion to land on Mars in the 2030s, which means the astronauts who would be flying those missions are in preschool today. Maurice? Chip Reed at the Kennedy Space Center. Thank you.